Good afternoon, graduates, friends, families, and honored guests. Welcome to the Barbican. And welcome at home to those who can't be with us today but are watching online. Without further delay, I will invite Andy Cook, our Vice Chancellor, who's going to say a few words. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to welcome you to our 2023 graduation ceremony. But before we go any further, I'd like you to give each other a huge cheer. <laughs> Congratulations to every single one of you. As Vice-Chancellor, I'm absolutely thrilled to stand here before our graduates and their very special loved ones. This room is filled with incredibly talented graduating students and the vital people who have helped to shape and support you on your journey. We are also delighted to be joined by our very special guests, Helen Higson and June Sarpong. On behalf of all my colleagues, I can't stress enough how proud we are of all of you sitting here today. It's no secret that most of you had your studies disrupted by the COVID pandemic. From early 2020, the entire world changed and the normality we took for granted was stripped away from us. Despite being plunged into a new reality where online learning replaced face-to-face -face learning and social distancing became the norm, you all prevailed and emerged stronger than ever. What I would really like to commend you for is your outstanding hard work, perseverance, and unwavering courage in the face of adversity. You continue to march onward, creating the exceptional work that we've now come to expect from our Ravensbourne students. Many of you went on to win awards throughout this difficult time, and some notable successes for our students include New Blood Awards for Design and Advertising, Creative Conscious Awards for Product Design, a Gensler Scholarship for Architecture, our Copperberg Competition with the winning student designs available globally, and our students hosting the National Student Television Awards Ceremony. It's truly inspiring to witness the creativity and uniqueness of our Ravensbourne students, and this is by no means an exclusive list. So now, as you progress and embark upon your careers, please always give yourselves the space for curiosity, 
the grace to make mistakes, and the confidence to believe in your work. Your creativity is unique to you and will set you apart from everyone else. I also want you to remember to lean on the exceptional connections that you've made while studying at Ravensbourne. Our graduates are incredibly important to us and we would love to remain connected to you as part of our growing alumni community. So, congratulations to everyone receiving awards today. We are immensely proud to share in this celebration of your success. Thank you. Thank you, Andy. We now move to the presentation of students. I'd like to invite Alberto Vigianueva, Head of Architecture, to present candidates for the Architecture Department. Thank you, Emma. Um, I'm delighted to be presenting these students with their awards today. Please join me in congratulating and welcoming to the stage the students from BA, BA Honors Architecture course. Justine Emily Aguilar. <laughs> Arifa Kanom Ahmed. Edis Ali. <laughs> Nayan Bradshaw. <laughs> Beisa Kajiran. <laughs> Alex Gon Wa Chan. Erika Cosimi. Bailey Beck Scott Davis. Daniel Bryan Davis. Kayla Aurora del Mundo. <laughs> Afifa Sahin Hakim. <laughs> Kosara Ivanova. Alibek Kaya. <laughs> David Versulis Klein. <laughs> Samuel Nikolaev Kolev. Senat Kurtash. <laughs> Lorena Malas. <laughs> Tolo Walupe Bewoji Jimisola Anina Oyesania. Leonardo Paja. <laughs> Stephanie Grace Peralta. <laughs> P 
Ricardas Plange. Raid Mohamed Risa. Erin Sanchez. Bradley Sanders. Alicia Alexandra Slavinska. Iliana Todorova Tercieva. Matei Tolescu. Si Yen Amanda Tran. Daniel Kaylee Van Sal. Sal. Angenet Doune González Villorante. Now please join, join me in congratulating and welcoming to the stage the students from BA, BA Honors Interior Design Environment Architectures. <laughs> Reynis Bajelis. Ormi Merin Barry. Yanni Dilgarova. Raisa Famin. Catalina Ganta. Cristiana Genka. Kisran Batul Khan. John Juan Lin. Faria Mia. <laughs> Angelica Catarsina Oleyarca. <laughs> Chayakan Ern on Santipap. Linira Osmani. <laughs> Kanokpong Parayat. <laughs> Viola Pica. Ana Victoria Stockton Turner. <laughs> and last but not least, I also would like you to join me in congratulating and welcoming to the stage the student of the VA Honors Urban Landscape Architecture, Gabriela Karima Spencer.
Thanks all, I now hand back to Emma. Thank you, Alberto. Next, I'd like to invite Dan Duran, our Head of Design, who will present the students from the Department of Design. Uh, thanks, Emma. Um, first up, we have the students for Advertising and Brand Design. Uh, so please join me in giving them a big, massive congratulations as they come on stage. <clears throat> Abigail Payne. Adam Abzu, Abzu Nad. Joseph Ari Ibi. <laughs> Rebecca Bartett Bar Barrett. <laughs> Tyler Bembridge. Nils Brook Bjorkman. <laughs> Emily Brizius. <laughs> Carway Chung. Stefan Chivu. <laughs> Marnie Cohen. <laughs> Hannah Craig. Aliana Damason. <laughs> Victoria Demo Trieva. <laughs> Pablo Durban. <laughs> Bethany Edwards. Lise Francis Lewis. Jonathan Garledo. Amy Gibson. Hannah Golden. <laughs> Freddie Hayden. <laughs> Emma Herra. Harry Hewlett. <laughs> Jane Hong. <laughs> Nicholas Holdsworth. <laughs> Mokhtar Khalifa.
Mariam Hussain. Amara Khan. <laughs> Jisoo Kim. Ben McKay. Reese Milton. <laughs> Sophia Oswald. Uh, Hannah Owens. Archie Palmer. Charlotte Perry. Ravinia, Ravinia Rose Equayella. Nicole Berggren. Jack Saunders. Chidalea Cisse De Luca. Jem Sheldon. <laughs> Maria Toriani. <laughs> Charlie Wall Palmer. Gustav Chris Za Christian <laughs> and uh, for graphic design we have Adura Alugo <laughs> Shoeb Alias. Husna Begum. <laughs> Rupna Begum. <laughs> Sarah Kazi. <laughs> Maya Chamberlain. Charlotte Jury. <laughs> Abby Edwards. <laughs> Louisa Eckholt. <laughs> Max Eke. Dora Ekte. <laughs> Jerome Gaia. <laughs> Pavel Hopper. <laughs> K. 
Khalifa Hussain. <laughs> Safa Idri. <laughs> Tanya Jane. Danielle Joseph. <laughs> Niz Khan. <laughs> Juliana Kofleri. Matthew Labuda. <laughs> Joshua Lam. <laughs> Patricia Lawrence. <laughs> Chrisley Lumba. Christine Mugger. Yeah! <laughs> Claire Mariano. Max McCarthy. Shara Moshid. <laughs> Kaimani Imtam Jansun. <laughs> Stefan Ui. Anjali Patel. <laughs> Charles Pickering. <laughs> Matty Popovici. Isabella Schlieben. Andrea Cinco. Katerina Sinesi. Camille Solanke. <laughs> Sergio Sotsas. <laughs> Emily Stanton. Sonia ja ja Rova. <laughs> and for illustration for communication, AJ Akio. <laughs> Jaden Bins. Anna Bitten. Royal 
Avram. Max, Max Balaiko. Beatrice Leonardo. Bethany Bywaters. Anis Kane. Chloe Mary Cheeseman. Ella Chick. Luke Crossley. <laughs> Emma Everett. Abu Lawi Fangua. Keisha Gasper. <laughs> David Bobo Addy. <laughs> Adam Headley. Sophie Henry. <laughs> Laba Hussain. <laughs> Nuri Kouyos. Julia Leo Kiva. Nathan Mason. Marinette Mat Materna. Samantha Parkin. <laughs> Taylor Poole. <laughs> uh, William Balthazar Connor Ryder. Tony Ann Robertson. <laughs> Michael Rock. Yeah. Amber Stoddard. Akil Taylor. <laughs> Pulvari Verdi. <laughs> Mia Wingnow. Marcelina Jacket, J. Ek, J. Ek? Sorry. And for motion graphics, uh, Michael Al Adi Ajal. So.
Malcolm Awa Tefi. Ni uh, Nicole Bergerkamp. <laughs> Chantel Catry. <laughs> Leah Comrie. <laughs> Maxine Foley. Maria Mahoney, Hello. Zakaria Manash, Nam Yang Newton. Latona Roberts. And for product design, Julia Back. Emily, Emily Gabrielle Lamitri Down. Jasper, Jasper Morales. Cameron Redwood. Anna Rezrinesek. Jan Sad. <laughs> Prabnor Singh. <laughs> Ella Sutherland. <laughs> Axel Gewurt Valberg. Michelle Tolnari. <laughs> so for UX U UI, Samuel Carter. <laughs> Justin Chang. <laughs> Zach Darlington. Mitas Jethwa. <laughs> Amal Jamal. <laughs> Shane Keane. Ariana Kreechenko. <laughs> Harry Ashley Leftwich. Lova Lobert. Alessandra Suda. <laughs> Albina Zarkova. And for advertising and brand, Sabrina Beth.
and congratulations on I now hand you back to Emma. Thank you, Dan, and congratulations to everybody that's come across the stage so far. So we're going to pause the presentation of students for a moment as we are now going to present the Honorary Fellowship. I would now like to invite Andrew Summers, Chair of the Board of Governors, to do this. I'm delighted to be presenting an honorary fellowship today to Professor Helen Higson. Now, Professor Higson has over 35 years' experience working in higher education. She is an experienced deputy chief executive with a strong track record of leading at board level within education and research. She's currently Professor of Higher Education and Learning at Aston Business School. Her recent research policy and consultancy work includes intercultural training, developing employability, facilitating a coaching culture, and closing the degree attainment gap. She has been awarded the OBE for services to higher education and among other roles, until recently was the Vice Lord Lieutenant of the West Midlands. As a governor, Helen has been a key influence on the university's growth over the last eight years, especially in terms of the size and scope of teaching and research. She's helped to recruit the current top team and was instrumental in the development of Ravensbourne Common Academic Framework. For the last few years, until she retired from the board earlier this year, she's been deputy chair, and I have personally found her knowledge, advice, and support to be invaluable and a great benefit to all of us. We are extremely proud of our relationship with Helen and delighted, delighted to award her today this very well-deserved honorary fellowship, and I invite the Vice-Chancellor to present the fellowship to her. discovered that going to university changes your life and it's official. The OECD, the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development, has shown that if you study in higher education you are wealthier, healthier and happier. Yeah. <laughs> You're more likely to vote, less likely to be overweight, less likely to smoke. I'm saying less likely. I'm not saying that we all... You're more likely to... Uh, engage in your children's education, you're more likely to undertake voluntary work. And you're also more likely to be satisfied in the life that you find that you're leading. And to top it all, you're likely to earn more money during your life. But I know that that hasn't come without a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work from you and from this amazing group of staff here. Come on. And I'll let you into a secret. I've worked in universities for a long time Ravensbourne is the best.
And why is it the best? Because they care and because they have very, very good connections with the real world. And the combination of those is very important. But it doesn't come without some responsibility. You all, having got your degree, you have a responsibility to make the best you possibly can with the degree that, that you have, and go out and do good in whatever way suits you. And you also have a responsibility to keep in touch with Ravensbourne and to come back and to teach and to take internships and perhaps one day to sit on the stage like we're doing today. So I'd like to end by thanking Ravensbourne for the eight years of enormous enjoyment and pride in the development of the institution as a university. And I would like to send my congratulations to you all. Thank you. Thank you, Helen. We are, as ever, thrilled to have you with us today. And congratulations again. So we will now proceed with the presentation of students. I would like to invite Gurmit Matharu, Head of Fashion, to present the students from the Fashion Department. Thank you, Emma, Vice-Chancellor. Good afternoon, everyone. It gives me great honour to present the students from the Department of Fashion. First, I'd like to invite to the stage and congratulate the students from BA Honours Fashion. Farida Abdel Razak. Esther Bella. Francisca Henriquez Barreros. <laughs> Mia Bethel. <laughs> Reese David Brook. <laughs> Martina Booty. Shui Ying Chan. <laughs> Lucy Olivia Charge. <laughs> Lettuce Scarlet Collins. <laughs> Mia Patricia Crawford. Jean-Luc Tracy Fortin. <laughs> Maria Cristina Gaona Torres. <laughs> Yen Hong. Jessica Louise Hooley. <laughs> Savigon King Nijan. <laughs> Seyun <Soyeon> Lee. Ernest Howard Mason. <laughs> Adaya Miller.
We could do better than that. Come on. Ruby Sarah Catherine Miller. <laughs> Rebecca Nagai Sekiwala. <laughs> Nusrat Nishi. Isabel Faye Ruth Patterson. Adam Pung. Simon Sajid. Omar Salkini. <laughs> Annie Georgina Savers. Erin <laughs> Shirpunja. Hailey Sung. <laughs> Gunai Tagieva. <laughs> Salma Tahir. Charlotte Thomason Lombard. <laughs> Yat Fu Choi. <laughs> Fradad Umar. Nada Vetki Chiyote. <laughs> Sue Wadi. <laughs> now I would like to invite to the stage and congratulate the students from BA Honours Fashion, Digital Technology for Fashion Pathway. <laughs> Hannah Azar Yusuf. Amy Kane. <laughs> Man Yin Chung. <laughs> Lucy May Cousins. <laughs> Yuxen Jason Hung. Fatima Hussein. <laughs> Samia Islam. <laughs> Jackie Poe Koning. Helena Leshniakovska. <laughs> Monica Maznita. <laughs> Yen Nicholson.
Emma Parrett. <laughs> Maria Ivana Riprechet. <laughs> Hannah Louise Thurgood. Ting Ting Yang. <laughs> now, please put your hands together and congratulate the students from BA Honours Fashion Buying and Brand Management. <laughs> Simone Akinti. Marik Bicaro. <laughs> Ali Bijent. <laughs> Daniel Burns. <laughs> Isabel Camps. Christian Canada. <laughs> Athea Brunella Crocky. <laughs> Bethany Crowley. Natasha Danke. <laughs> Emily Dobridge. <laughs> Macy Jade French. Angela Gayote. <laughs> Scarlett Elizabeth Godin. <laughs> Darcy Storm Harding. Abigail Sarah Elizabeth Headley. <laughs> Tanya Jensen. <laughs> Kashan Layla Johnson. Thomas Mayher. <laughs> Nicola Maria Majka. <laughs> Benjamin James May. Rianne McLeod. <laughs> Dora Maria McKinney. <laughs> Talia Mitchell. Leah Mohammed. <laughs> Amelia Ann Porter. <laughs> so, 
sorry. Sophia Robbins. Imogen Melina Roberts. Isabel May Schofield Brown. Darlene Sunday. Kathleen Turner. May Ward Lohan. Sharai White. Holly Michelle Williams. Lucy Alice Williams. Camille Zelinski. I would now like to invite to the stage and congratulate the students from BA Honours Fashion Promotion. Daisy Elizabeth Barr. Rita Biancardi. Steffi Bowings. Olivia Phoebe Cunniff. <laughs> Stefano Esposito. <laughs> Tanya Tamara Fleck Marino. Georgia Grossman. Well done. <laughs> Ellie Jasmine Nina Harmon Hartland. <laughs> Jamie Harrison. Yu Ting Hu. Sugar Huang. Kaylee Shay Jaggers. Liberty Jones. Ishani Jutla. Pin Su Liao. Sasha Lim. <laughs> Amelia Ling. <laughs> Molly Isabel Lynch. <laughs> Chelsea Kyle McPargle.
Emma Leonor Manuel. Molly Louise Martin. <laughs> Lewis Martin. <laughs> Chantelle Monique McIntyre. Amira Meskel Wright. <laughs> Malika Munshi. <laughs> Twai Ann Nguyen. Summer Odev. <laughs> Isabel Rose Parker. <laughs> Luke Pereira. Pia Martini Petroli. <laughs> Claudia Pochkilska. <laughs> Intizad Zehra Rizvi. Shannon Marie Saggers. <laughs> Otis Blue Sinner Davy. <laughs> Sangeeta Suntaram Pilia. Poppy Thomas. <laughs> Sophie Ellen Wilfork. <laughs> that concludes the presentation for the Department of Fashion. Before I take my seat, the academic team and I would like to extend our congratulations to all the graduates, their family and friends who have been an integral part of this amazing journey. Thank you and well done, class of 2023. And now I'm back to Emma. Thank you, Gurmit. I would now like to invite Tracy Tattersall, Interim Director of Learning and Teaching, for the presentation of our postgraduate students. Thank you, Emma. So first up are our students from the NA MFA Craft Editing. Rama Pratt Pap Bhatti. <laughs> For the Master of Science, Computer Science, Raj Babu Bai Dese. <laughs> AJ Kumar Nukala Reb. Bumika Tu Matla. <laughs> A 
Abdu Jabba Mohammed. Janika Ma Hidma. Sabah Javed. Aquil Mohammed. Saidatu Pinaka. Astris Silam. Harish Kumar Apenbati Patel For the award of Master of Fine Arts, Craft Editing, Anna Louise Clark Jusso Joel Marafuz. Paul Gerard. Sarah Jane Graziosi. Zachary Albert Warden For the Master of Arts Design Communication Pushpanjali Batalya Hassan Chowdhury. <laughs> Rathil Lathagara. <laughs> Helen Maria Mutari. Leobitsa Tripkovsky. <laughs> Sangeeta Vitel. <laughs> Sophia Zoka. <laughs> For the award of Master of Science Design Management, Doris Gelbaru. RJ <laughs> Hembran. <laughs> Yusara Feriel Kelly. Kim Saria. <laughs> Panrawi Parasanan. <laughs> Vivikuma Parapache. <laughs> Hone Nilish Bai Vakarari. For the award of Master of Science Digital Marketing, Palvi. <laughs> Harry.
Parashita Perez Bengal. Javahandi Damesh Charitathwe. Miguel Ramesh by Delvadi. Ramik Jitubai Gorashari. Jiffin George. Pass Mukesh Kumar Pandya. <laughs> Jay Kumar Jayanti Bai Patel. <laughs> Piyusha Kumar Jay Rambai Prajapati. <laughs> Mobet Nadine Badshari Mia Sayed. <laughs> Samad Miza. <laughs> Saroya. Tia Yoba Fatima. <laughs> Nia Feshnev. <laughs> For the award of Master of Arts Illustration, Sutton C. Bellia. Christopher Bolan, Bolton. <laughs> Emma Louise Cheeseman. <laughs> Rachel Anna Harrison. <laughs> Zeneb Khan. <laughs> Sasha Yona Miller Avashi For the award of Master of Arts Luxury Brand Management, Rene Bruce. Taf by Shulman. <laughs> Samira Kanchala. <laughs> Satinda Ku. Clean Kerr. <laughs> Victoria Pratisha Lopez Vazquez. <laughs> Ekta.
Tehrani. <laughs> Salmia Rasuju. Feliciana St. Matthews Daniel. Vishu Verma <laughs> For the award Master of Design, Service Design, Social, Inno Social Innovation and Design Leadership Tantika Igna. That concludes the postgraduate awards. I will now hand back to Emma. Thank you, Tracy. And that concludes the presentation of students for 2023. Any more? Whoop, whoop. Are we done? <laughs> I would now like to hand back to Andy Cook, who is going to present this ceremony's honorary doctorate. It, it's normally at this point that I perform a dance and then the splits, but... Uh... <laughs> I've, I've got a bad knee today, so I'm, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to miss that part of the ceremony out. But um, I'm about to present uh, a serious award, actually, uh, the, an honorary doctorate um, on behalf of Ravensbourne University. So, an honorary doctorate is designed to recognise outstanding achievement in a particular field or service to a community, and is arguably the most prestigious form of recognition a university can bestow on an individual. Today, I'm absolutely delighted to present an honorary doctorate to the renowned television presenter, author and activist, June Sarpong. June has been a prominent figure in the media industry for over two decades, known for her work with major television networks such as ITV and Sky, and her commitment to fostering diversity and inclusion. Her engaging and insightful approach to discussing important social issues has earned her widespread acclaim, making her a respected voice in the industry. As you will have seen from the video, 
In addition to her achievements in broadcasting, June is an accomplished author, having written books that address pressing social challenges and inspire positive change. Her advocacy work for equality and diversity has had a lasting impact in the media landscape, which closely aligns with Ravensbourne's commitment to preparing students to thrive in a diverse and rapidly evolving world. Many congratulations, Thank June. You. Yeah, so a few words. Oh, sorry. Thank you so much, Andy, for those uh, glowing words, and of course, Andrew, for my uh, wonderful certificate. Uh, class of 2023, give yourselves another round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. All of that hard work was worth it and will certainly pay off, I have no doubt. Um, I'm going to say a few short words, um, which I hope uh, will help set you on your journey uh, for this new part of your life, uh, this exciting part where you go out now into the real world and turn everything that you've learned here at Ravensbourne uh, into a career, into passion, um, and into purpose. Now, earlier, um, Helena told you the important stuff in terms of uh, a degree, uh, making sure that you have a life that is healthier, wealthier, and happier. Um, I'm going to touch on the happier part, um, if I may. Uh, there's a, a, a wonderful book which I urge you all to read, not just my books, I mean, obviously do read my books, um, but I'm going to plug someone else's book today. Um, this is a book by Daniel Pink, and it's called Drive, um, and it's a book that I return to every couple of years whenever I feel a little lost or not so certain in terms of what my next direction should be. And the book really looks at what makes people successful. Um, and how you can be recognized um, and celebrated uh, for being a master at something in your life. Um, and what he talks about is a piece of advice that a woman called Claire Booth Luce gave John F. Kennedy um, in the 60s. For those of you that don't know who JFK is, uh, he was a former president of the United States, and he was in fact the first um, Irish Catholic uh, president of the United States, and he was a bit of a rock star in his day. Um, and when he first became president, he was very young, and I think at the time he was the youngest president in America's history. So he really wanted to prove himself. And so he was doing lots of things and trying to bring in tons and tons of legislation. And Claire Booth Luce, who was an incredible trailblazer, he was a Democrat, she was a Republican, um, but they still found common ground. And she was a woman uh, that became the first editor, young editor of uh, Time magazine uh, when she was in her late 20s. Uh, she won an Oscar, uh, she became a diplomat, um, and one of the first, I think she was the first female member of Congress. So this woman was a real trail, trailblazer and had done multiple things in her career. And what she said to him, was that a great person is a sentence and that actually you have to be known for mastering one or at the most two things in your life. And if you're able to do those two things or that one thing to the best of your ability, it becomes something that people remember you for even after you are gone. And then she said something else to him. She said, the best way to decide what your sentence is, is to figure out why you were born. And yes, that may seem like a big daunting question, but actually what is the thing that makes you wanna get up every morning and carry on no matter how hard things get? And the younger you learn that, the easier your journey is. And I assure you, the better your life becomes in terms of that happier piece of those three important equations that Helen mentioned. The other thing that Daniel Pink talks about in his book is he says another thing that we should all think about 
if we just want to be better people is a question we should ask ourselves every day. The question is, was I better today than I was yesterday? If you can do that every day, just become that much better, that much kinder, work that little bit harder. If you're able to do those little things every day, it compounds and compounds and compounds. And eventually by the end of whatever will be, I hope, a very long life, you know that you have given it your best. Now, many of you have made your family members incredibly proud, which is so important, and those that love you incredibly proud, but actually the thing that matters most is to make yourself proud of who you are and what you're doing. And if you're able to make sure that you are better each day, that is all you need to do in this world. And the lucky thing for you is you are all creatives and creative people are the ones that make the world go round, make the world a much more interesting and beautiful place. Um, and I'm excited to see the incredible things that you are all going to do because you have graduated from a fantastic university. A university that has something that we don't see enough actually um, in terms of our education system real direct connections into the workforce. So you have started on the right path. Um, I know big things are ahead and give yourselves another round of applause and it's an honor today to be with you all today. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, June. Great words. Um, <laughs> so we are now going to hear from Esther Boboade, President of our Students' Union. Thank you, Emma. Good afternoon, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and most importantly, good afternoon, graduates. <laughs> it's an honor to stand before you on this momentous day. I'd like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our dedicated tutors, loving families, and friends who have supported us throughout our academic journey. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. So, round of applause for them too. You did it. You survived all the late nights and last minute submissions. As graduates of a creative institution, we understand the boundless power of possibilities. In this world of art, design, innovation, and imagination, there is no limits to what we can achieve. Our time here has taught us that creativity knows no bounds and every challenge is an opportunity for innovation. The world you're about to enter is full of possibilities and each of you holds the power to shape the future. Whether, in, whether you're entering industry, continuing your education or pursuing your own unique path, remember that you have the skills and determination to make a positive impact. Each of you possesses a unique set of skills, talents, and passions that can shape the future in a remarkable way. The friends you've made are ones you will keep and cherish in your lifetime. You've been on this journey together, growing together, and are now graduating together. This is just the beginning of your amazing journey. Go out and make your mark on the world. Congratulations once again, and may your futures be as bright as your pasts have been. Thank you. Thank you, Esther. And finally, I would now like to invite Andrew Summers, the chair of our Board of Governors, who will close this afternoon's ceremony. Uh, Emma and Esther, thank you very much. 
May I add my congratulations to all the 2023 graduates to whom we have presented their degrees today. You can take great pride in your achievements knowing that you have a degree from Ravensbourne University London, one of the leading creative universities in the country. We've all seen plenty of change over the years you've been at Ravensbourne, and it's been very good to see the way in which our students and staff have bounced back post-pandemic. We've been very pleased to welcome record numbers of undergraduate and postgraduate students to the university this year, an indication of the growing reputation of Ravensbourne. Of course, you are now graduating, but the legacy you have left is a great foundation for your successors to benefit from. Just remember the video you saw at the beginning of the ceremony, as it said, you are all extraordinary. Also extraordinary have been the people from outside the university who have supported us. My thanks go to all my fellow governors who are on the stage with us today. And we've been delighted to recognize today the contribution of Professor Helen Higson uh, this morning at our recent deputy chair by awarding her a fellowship. And it's also been a special pleasure to welcome Ms. Anne Harriman this morning and June Sarpong this afternoon as new doctorates of the university. Uh, looking ahead, one thing is for certain. The creative and technology industries will continue to be major areas of economic growth in this country and major areas of job opportunities. We're very keen that everyone at Ravensbourne, whatever their background, has the chance to develop their capabilities, their skills, their technical skills, their, their knowledge and their business skills. Most of you here today have left Ravensbourne a few months ago, and I'm sure that you are benefiting from the Ravensbourne experience and, I hope, enjoying whatever you're doing, both in life and in work. We've only been a full university for a few years, and it's great to see the stunning Ravensbourne gowns, which many of you are wearing. But our focus on design, on screen, on digital, and on business has never been more relevant and in demand by today's employers. Our strong links with industry mean that our graduates have one of the highest employability rates in the country. I am strongly committed to Ravensbourne developing the creative leaders of the future. And that is what you are now becoming as you graduate from Ravensbourne today. You're joining the ranks of many distinguished uh, Ravensbourne alumni, from musician David Bowie and comedian Andy Osho, to fashion designers Bruce Oldfield and Claire Waite Keller, to designers Jay Osgoby and Michael Leung, to film producers Simon Egan and Peter James. Your careers will develop in many unexpected ways, but I hope that you'll aspire to take a leading role in whatever path you choose. And I'm sure that you will contribute to business, to society, to your friends and families in significant ways. And talking of friends and families, I know that the responsibility for your success is shared with all of those, all those who are here today supporting you. Their help and encouragement has played an important part in your success. And as Esther did earlier on, I'd like to ask you now to join me in thanking them with another round of applause. Thank you to them. You are now Ravensbourne alumni, but your journey with Ravensbourne doesn't end here. Our doors are always open if you need support, whether it's career guidance, help setting up your own business or pursuing further study. So please do stay in touch. The academic staff, the professional staff and the governors on stage with me have taken great pride and pleasure in watching you graduate and we wish you, wish you all well for the future. Be proud of your degree from Ravensbourne University London and the very best of luck to you all. Thank you.